Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. In this video, I will show you how to install Android Lollipop 5.1 in the Moto G first generation. So first of all, back up your apps and data and everything present on your internal SD card. This tutorial is for the dual SIM variants and the single SIM variants. It will not work for the CDMA variants. The single SIM variants can flash the two files directly, the firmware file and the Google Apps file. You should have the two files, xt1033 to gpe and gpe.rar file. Extract both of them and transfer the files from the gpe folder to the xt1033 folder and copy that folder to somewhere on your C drive. After that, open your mobile in bootloader mode by pressing the volume down and the power key at the same time and then connect your mobile to PC. After you connect your mobile to PC, run the any firm to GPE BAT file. It would take around 2 minutes to convert your mobile to Google Play Edition. After your mobile boots up, connect it to your PC and transfer these three files, the firmware file, the google apps file and the fix file that's for fixing some bugs with the dual sim variant. Now you will have to open your phone in recovery mode. To open in recovery mode, first power off your phone then open it in bootloader mode by pressing the power button and the volume down key then select the recovery option by pressing the volume down and the power up key first wipe data reset your phone and then wipe the dialog cache After that, flash the three files one by one. First is the firmware file, then second is the Google Apps file, and the third is the fix file that's named force-ss. After you do all this, just reboot your phone and it should boot up into Android 5.1. I've been using 5.1 for quite some hours now and I can surely say that many of the bugs that I talked about in the previous video, the Lollipop Sucks video, I'll link it, they have been fixed and Lollipop 5.1 is pretty much very fast as compared to previous versions of Lollipop. Even if you run the animations at double the speed, they are still smooth, many of the memory leaks have also been fixed so it feels more smoother. Apps stay for more amount of time in the background. I can't talk about battery drain because I've been using it for some hours only. But it feels normal to me. And yes, there are some minor bugs but I would recommend you to flash this. Thanks for watching this video. Please click the like button to like this video and 
the subscriber and the subscribe and i'm very sorry i couldn't reply to many of the comments in the previous videos but i will try my best to help as many of you as i can